Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy here with Theo Spielkoff, New York City. Hello. Nice to see you, Theo. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. We just had about an one hour conversation. Thank you very much for the tips you give me. Firmenich, the company that makes the fragrance oils for fragrance oil. Very happy to work with them, not only because of the quality of fragrance, but they always give me the best suggestions. These are great partners for you. Think about doing that. Think about doing that. So thank you very much for that, Theo. Absolutely. And today um, we have this video title, What Comes Next with Fragrance One? What will we release next? I didn't brief you what I will talk about, but to me, in choosing the next fragrance, I feel it's a bit like a musician is getting song ideas from different producers, right. the best producers on the planet, in your, in your world, the best performers, mm -hmm. like Alberto Marias, like Honorine Blanc, and I feel, oh my God, this DNA is so good, this has to be something romantic for a woman. So this is how I think about it. How yeah. would you usually think about, like we released the office fragrance, what do you think is the next step to go? <laughs> yeah, no, I think that the uh, perfumers very much, I like the juxtaposition of a music uh, piece yes. because fundamentally they are composers. Correct. And uh, you give them an emotion or an image or uh, uh, anything, a uh, type of descriptor that uh, can inspire them or or, or set, the, set the juices flowing as far as what they're going to create and getting the message uh, across with their selection and orchestration of the notes they're going to pick. Correct. And my goal is always to have a very long lasting and fantastically smelling fragrance. Now, fantastically smelling, obviously very subjective, the sense of smell, super subjective sense yeah. that we have. And also, can you just give a little hint on why not always, because you guys have no budget limitation, you can have the best quality thrown inside, the best oils you can use for my fragrance creations. I want them to be as long lasting as possible, but sometimes not the most expensive oil is the longest lasting or Correct. best smelling. Correct. Can you give a little bit in the fragrance industry that not always you have to go 30%, sometimes the 22% version of this fragrance is the best? It's a really good question. In fact, it's almost ironic because some of the most expensive materials in perfumery today, if you think of uh, agar wood and the oud notes, or yes. you think of oris, oris. Uh, which are tremendously expensive, close to 40,000 euro a kilo. <laughs> Unbelievable. The wonderful more than thing gold. about that, more than gold, much more. <laughs> yeah. The wonderful thing about that is because of the purity and the richness, you don't need very much in order for it to perform. Correct. The performance on materials of that high quality go very, very far. Yes. And therefore, you don't need high dosages and high concentrations because if you put too much of a good thing, to coin a term, it begins to smell like a cocktail and weighted down and uh, very, very blurry and thick and clunky. Correct. And therefore, you too want dense. it to breathe and yes. you don't have to overdose it. Be more is not always better. Sometimes less is more in this case. Okay, one last thing I heard from a perfumer saying that was very cool when we're talking about expensive ingredients, the Rose Absolute. Yes. She told me, if you want to have one liter of Rose Absolute, you have to, they, she, they showed me a room I was sitting in, you have to have the whole room fully with rose petals. Filled with petals. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what comes into that little thing right yeah. here. So the reason for that, <laughs> said the crazy. reason for that, and they put these petals in, there's so much, if you picture a haystack, they, they use a pitchfork yeah. to put so much of this into the vats, mainly because of the traditional method of extraction, which is steam distillation. Correct. And they fill this in, and unfortunately, after all of that product, natural product goes in, the yield ends up being very small, but very pure and very valuable. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that matter, uh, you, if, if, if uh, weighed properly, you don't need an overdose of it. So it will go a long way ultimately, that one kilo of yield. Awesome. Just one last question, Theo. I always told my viewers on how strong Firmenich also is at having exclusive access to certain ingredients, yeah. molecules. Can you say about something I say, we try to have a very modern smelling fragrance like Alberto uses Paradision and yes. whatever type of interesting ingredients. So 
it is correct that Firmenich has exclusive access to certain molecules, correct. which means only you can make this exact DNA. Correct. So that's what's called captives. Captives. And our PhDs, we hold more patents than any other company in this industry. That's unbelievable. In the world. So those patents are directed towards new molecules. Yes. Some are found in nature, some are not existing in nature yet. That's what makes them so interesting. Yep. So if it's not found in nature, we're going to invent it. Yep. And we provide these captives to our perfumers, our masters first. Yes. And the masters and uh, senior perfumers, they're able to play with them, what they like about it, how much they should use of it. And when we begin to commercialize it and put it into fragrances that come out onto the marketplace, those materials provide two main benefits. First of all, the captives are only available within Firminish. Oh yeah. And secondly, whenever anyone would try to copy a fragrance or knock it off through forensic instrumentation, what they end up with after their analysis is a whole bunch of empty puzzle pieces uh -huh. because they don't know, they don't <laughs> identify what those captives are because they're not on the market, they don't exist. That's our competitive edge and that's how we protect the integrity of your brand. To make that very simply understandable, it's extremely hard to copy my fragrance, Firmenich fragrances, Correct. because they have access to so many exclusive Captives. to them captive ingredients. Yeah. Love it. Thank you very much, Theo. You're a very great mentor to me. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>